that so today I'm changing my shore power inlet um, from this cheap cheap one I've got at a uh, supply Ooh, let's get out of here. little supply shop um, I didn't have stainless screws at the time and uh, this thing's oh, I've always felt like I was going to break it when I was pulling my uh, cord out so I bought one of these now I've got a couple of these I think they're called FIWO F-A-I-W-O um, I've got a couple for my water inlet and for my diesel tank inlet for my diesel heater um, they just feel a much more substantial thing um, now I've got in I've just had to cut the hole open a little bit more so I'm going to touch that up with some hammerite just to stop any rust and then uh, when I wire it up I'm going to use ferrules this time as I'm replacing certain electrical things I'm using ferrules and this all dates back to my problem with my solar controller um, when uh, I was getting uh, um, an error come up during the day um, basically what it would say was that my solar controller the terminal was overheating or the post number one post was overheating and when I investigated it I found that um, the wire inside although it was, it was it was screwed down tight enough to talk and whatever I noticed that it was arcing out um, and the wire a couple of strands had welded inside so I thought well we'll try and fix them with some ferrules fix that issue with some ferrules so I bought a ferrule kit off of Amazon um, and to date I've nev never had another error so as I go through various electrical items replacing them I'm starting to go over to ferrules um, which an electrician friend of mine said is actually basically spec or code as you'd call it in America um, it's supposed to be done on everything but very few people do it um, now these cables um, I'm going to tighten them up with some ferrules like I say get them in that and then I'll uh, I'll come back and show you what it looks like so I'll be back in a bit so I've coated the uh, the newly cut metal with some black hammerite um, and the ferrules all fitted so I'm just going to connect that up now to that new shore repair in inlet and then uh, I'll be back in a little while so uh, <coughs> all connected as you can see a really nice neat job um, got that wire clamped down on the brace there all the cables there nothing should be stressed so I'm just going to fit the, the back cover and then this has got a gasket um, but I'm going to use some tiger seal and get that well coated in on the on the back there there's, there's some old silicon residue but I had this unit's a bit bigger than the other one so that's not really going to affect it um, and normally I would have taken the time to get that off but uh, there's no need it's, it's really not going to cause a problem so I'm just going to get that all rough fitted in masked off um, and then I'll show you that before I uh, put it all in and get it all wrapped up just driving by then so cut the film uh, but yeah I've been, been meaning to do that for a while these 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 um they're quite expensive for what they are but um I should have gone with those in the first place look a lot of things as I'm going back over the van I'm changing it for better stuff more quality components um, just improving the van in, in little ways as I go uh, but yeah with all the uh, the wiring like with ferrules fitted and uh, rerouted now that's a much better job so it's all in now it's all done uh, I can't actually shut it up properly yet because the, the tiger seal is not dry and the edges catch it but uh not a problem um, so one of the reasons I wanted to change this initially was because the other one would flap around um, if you didn't push it in and lock it tight it would flap around as you're driving 
and it really annoyed me whereas this one's magnetic and it'll actually uh, just stay tightly shut um, I had a few issues refitting it because the uh, the hole in the wall panel in behind uh, wasn't opened up enough I, I did such a nice job of cutting around the original one uh, and now there were uh, issues getting this to, to push back far enough because basically uh, the barrel itself of the uh, unit is a bit bigger but uh, it's all in now I'm really happy with that um, I've turned everything back on um, everything's all working it charges up nicely with a generator or off the shore power um, may just come around to check it all good you happy with it you happy with it are you yeah, yeah, we're happy with that. Yeah, so uh, so it's all back in now. Everything's working. Um, as you saw, it was a, a much neater job with the ferrules. Um, and to be fair, standing back, it complements the van a bit better. Um, just gives it a nice contrast. So I've moved off somewhere else, but I uh, thought I'd update you with the finished look. Um, as soon as this tiger seal dry, dries off, I'll close it up. But uh, for now, a couple of bits of tissue in there just to uh, stop it from shutting tight. And uh, protect the tiger seal. There you go, it gives you a bit of an idea. So, really happy with that. And another niggly job I've been waiting to do out of the way so on to the next so the dogs have all been fed and watered after waiting on me this morning just come inside with a nice well earned cup of coffee get more a cappuccino from my coffee machine just going to flip the TV over onto CCTV uh, this Keep an eye on myself all around me so I can make sure there's nobody going to turn the dogs and whatever. But yeah, so now I'm going to put all these little samples of video together and get it up on YouTube.